That is just such a vibrant little snake. Beautiful. They always are, but something about the ones here are just particularly nice, clean looking cane breaks, so. What is up everybody? It is another finally cool and just not oppressively hot fall day. It feels like great weather to flip some 10 today. We had a little bit of rain and it's been a while since I flipped this stuff here at home. So we're gonna do that now and hopefully we'll find some snakes. Oh, almost didn't see that guy. <laughs> Very nice. First snake of the day, little ring neck. Well, I almost didn't see that little guy, but there is a little ring neck under here. First snake of the day. We saw a lot of these yesterday, so probably not going to spend too much time with this guy, but nice to see something under this piece. It doesn't produce very often. Another ring neck. This stack has only produced worm snakes recently, so that's kind of neat. I don't see anybody else. Dude, well, I won't mess with you. That's ring neck number two. Pretty quickly, we haven't flipped too much yet. We've already got two ring necks. Hopefully that is a good sign. Is that a racer? Looks like a racer. Take a quick picture and then I'll grab him. That's the first big snake I've ever found under this stack. Hello. Hello. No, no. All right. Yep. That's a racer. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, this guy's pretty well neutralized. Calmed down a little bit. Didn't take too much, but very nice. Kind of in shed, partially in shed. Black racer. I'm guessing he's coming out of a shed cycle. Probably be shedding here very soon. But first big snake that this set has produced. Pretty encouraging. So I'm not going to mess with him anymore. We're just going to let him slip back under. Hopefully he doesn't make too much of a fuss about it. No, no, under your tent. Go under. There you go. Continue. He got me good a couple times. Good evening, everyone. It is the next day. I was originally planning on doing some road cruising today, but it ended up raining this afternoon. So we're gonna go flip some more tin and hopefully it'll be a little bit more productive than yesterday. Not that yesterday was bad, it just wasn't the best. So we're gonna get to it and hopefully we'll find some snakes. It's a brown snake. First snake of the day. Well, it took way longer than I was hoping it would, but we got a nice little brown snake here. Only the second snake I think I've seen in this stack, so it's pretty cool, but obviously very, very common, so I'm not gonna spend too much time with them. I do wanna see if there's anything underneath them, so I'm gonna move them real quick and flip this next piece. Oh, <laughs> very, very cool. Copperhead and a brown snake in this stack. I'm just gonna let this brown snake go. We're gonna get a look at that guy. That's a good looking snake. I haven't seen a lot of copperheads here. I think I've only seen two, but they've both been really, oh, really nice. Unfortunate that he's not gonna sit any longer because that was such a good spot. But really beautiful copperhead is our next find of the day. Take a look at that. These guys are so much more exciting to find in habitat or under 10 than they are on the roads, in my opinion. They're just a little bit more, I guess, mysterious. I didn't realize at first just how big this guy is, but you can see it pretty well stretched out on my backpack. It's a nice three and a half foot snake, but he is definitely fired up. It's so humid, my camera lens is fogging on my phone. So we're just going to let him go back into his stack. Here you go, dude. This is what sucks about fall flipping is you just have to contend with all the vegetation and all the bugs and less snakes than spring, but still enough snakes that makes it worth all this. 
sometimes. All right, guys. Well, I am incredibly sweaty. We're out of 10 and uh, we're going to be out of daylight here shortly. So probably going to wrap today's portion up right here. Uh, it was kind of very unfortunately snakeless. I think the only two snakes we saw were in the same stack of 10, which was very weird. But it made for a cool clip, so I'm not complaining about it. I'm just glad we got to see something of interest. That copperhead was really, really sharp looking, and I'm always happy to see those guys under 10. Yeah, unless I see something on the road on the way home, I'm probably going to wrap today's portion up here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's not the morning. It's actually the late afternoon, and uh, we are in the middle of a sweltering hot field. Because I was coming out here to see if flipping was going to be any good today, but I think it's just too hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to maybe try to flip a little bit more in some of the shadier areas here. And then we might end up road cruising for the rest of the episode. But hopefully we'll be able to wrap this one up here today. Uh, the last two outings haven't been super productive, but they have been decent. So we're going to see what we can get into. All right. Well, we've been at it for a couple hours and first snake of the day is a pretty good one. That is the most minuscule rough green snake I think I've ever seen. Look at that. So that is ridiculously cute. Definitely the smallest and freshest hatchling rough green snake I've ever seen. It was so small on the road, I wasn't even sure if it was a snake until we backed up, but that is adorable. Really fresh little hatchling rough green snake is our first snake of the day. <laughs> All right, out of the road with this little dude. We're gonna keep cruising. Hopefully that will be the first of several things we can turn up this afternoon. But very nice, little hatchling rough green snake to start off the day. He's going under the leaves. That is really weird. But, I mean, everything about finding that snake was weird. It didn't really look like a snake, and then it turns out it was. Oh my god! Wow. Look at that! Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That one's nice. Like, I spotted it. Yeah, I, got, yeah. I, I literally like, thought he was a fing piece of black. Yeah, I car. thought it was a crack in the pavement. Yeah. But nope. King Snake, the only the second one I have seen in this county. That is so cool. Well, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know we don't often get to see king snakes alive on the road. So that's a special encounter just because of what it is. But to find such a good looking snake too, here in this area where I have seen exactly one live king and a bunch of dead ones, these guys are pretty hard to come across out here. So this is actually not only a good find because it's cool, but it's a good find because they're not particularly common here. In fact, I've seen more coral snakes in this area than I have live king snakes. So that is a really great find if we don't see anything else better. It's going to be kind of hard to top that unless we do see a coral snake today. But beautiful juvenile eastern king snake is our next find. A little rough green and a little king. All right, little beauty. There you go. Very, very cool. Snakes are moving though, so we're going to try to keep at it. A beautiful eastern king snake is our next find. All right, and sun is going down. It's not quite fully dark out here, but we just cruised our next snake, a beautiful juvenile timber. Look at that guy. Really, really nice, healthy looking. I'm gonna get a quick shot before he starts moving and then we'll get him out of the road. Well, I kind of uh, disrespected this guy when we first found him by saying he was a four for here, but I think he's a lot nicer than I initially gave him credit for when he was sitting on the road. They always just look so much nicer when you put them in habitat. And that's not to say this isn't a fantastic snake. It's just the ones here are some of the nicest I've ever seen. And that guy is right there up with the best, I think. Um, he just didn't look quite as nice on the road. But, I mean, that, that stripe is just fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful little, probably two-year-old canebrake as our next snake. First thing after dark, hopefully there will be some more activity. But normally this place is pretty slow once the sun goes down. So we'll see. All right, I got the video light out for this guy because he is just that nice. And you can see, that is not a four, even in the best of places. I was definitely wrong about this little man's at first glance. That thing is stunning. That is just such a vibrant little snake. Beautiful. They always are, but something about the ones here are just particularly nice, clean looking cane breaks. So, fantastic day, highlighted by a king snake and a beautiful little timber. And we've still got a couple hours of cruising potentially. Maybe not a couple, but at least one hour or so. We're going to get some quick photos of this guy and get him out of the road. All right, he was headed over that way, so we're going to let him keep moving. 
All right, well, right up the road from the timber, we have our next snake, and it is yet another quality one, a beautiful little corn snake. This is actually my first corn snake from this road, even though I cruise here all the time. It's just a banner day for cruising out here, I guess. All right, well, that is a fantastic next snake of the night. It's just been kind of popping out here. We haven't seen that many snakes in terms of numbers, but the quality has been very high. Just four snakes, but all of them have been pretty good highlights, in my opinion, so... We're going to try to keep it moving. Beautiful corn snake is our next find and my first one from this area. Another one. That's not even this year's baby. That's last year's baby. Caitlin's being chased by the adorable baby timber rattlesnake. This is last year's baby. You can see he's got a couple of segments on his rattle. Um, but otherwise, still kind of small. Really not as big as I would expect for last year's baby yet, but another nice looking timber nonetheless. All right, well, there goes timber rattlesnake too. I guess we're gonna keep cruising a little bit longer. It seems like stuff's still moving, so guy actually looks like he's thinking about climbing but we'll leave him to it well apparently fall road cruising is just popping off tonight because there is our second corn of the night this time a fresh little hatchling look at that guy on the on the surface it looks kind of like a gray rat but you can tell these guys from gray rats pretty easily because they have that distinct little v on their head and a little bit of orange comes through the scales but really cool looking snakes when they're fresh hatchlings like that love to see it so cute. Look how small this guy is. Fresh hatchling, but stuff is moving like crazy right now, so we're going to try to keep this train rolling as long as we can, and we're going to keep cruising. But first hatchling corn snake of the year. Very cool. And in an area where I'd never seen a corn snake prior to tonight, so. There's a little more scale for that guy before we let him go. Quite small. Very, very fresh hatchling. All right, everyone. Well, it just occurred to me that I never ran an outro for this episode because I'm silly. So anyways, it was a fantastic night. Uh, we did end up seeing a lot of really cool snakes. It's always nice when you see quality and quantity at the same time. It's a very rare occurrence that you get to see snakes that you're looking for and in good numbers. So it was a really fantastic night and I think I've got enough to wrap up this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.